Welcome to those big lake show vibes. Starring me, Des Crim Slim. What's going on, Lake Show? We in here, man. We up to one on them sons. And you know what? This was that day. This is that day. Here's a Oh, let me see if I can get the thumbnail quick. Got it. Yo, did you see when the Lakers are having fun? We a team to beat. We the unstoppable team to beat. Drumming on the sideline. LeBron Hash had a... Jay Crowder had him like... <clears throat> you see him drumming? Matching him, matching him, matching him. Shooter like, let's go. What you got? Now, this reminded me of another player that happened earlier in the season when I thought our chemistry really had reached its apex. That was when LeBron did the turnaround three to Schroeder and was like, bet. <laughs> it went down court. It was that kind of vibes. I love seeing the team come together. I love seeing everybody excited. You know, everybody don't get minutes. So when you see a guy like Montrez Harold excited, him and Bron James doing the crip walk on the side, like, it's just good things to see, good chemistry to see for the team. And I'm excited for these playoffs where you've taken the lead on the Suns. And I think this last game was the game that said, we're better than y'all. Not only are we better than y'all, we'll bully y'all if it comes down to it. For real. You know what I'm saying? We beat them 109-95. Been holding them to low numbers this whole entire series. They just, what can I say? Defense is elite and it's running through the playoffs. Three-point shooting has been abysmal, but we go to the rack. You see, we're not going to play like all these other teams in the league because we're different. We got the chosen one. So we could do things like focus on the paint. We had 50 points, over 50 points in the restricted area. <laughs> what are you supposed to do with that? Shoot all those threes all you want, man. We scoring. We're scoring. And the defense is elite, so you better keep up. All right. I'm not going to go into too much of a rant. AD's playing phenomenal ball. LeBron's playing phenomenal ball. And the team is just following suit behind them. Let's get to the notes. First quarter, I, I was taking some pretty good notes. I was taking some pretty good notes this game. It was great to see back in the late show. They said we hadn't had a playoff game since like 2013. Hadn't won a playoff game there since like 2012. So it was good to come home to Staples and get a dominant win. One of those ones where it's like, okay, this is clear cut. You can also see we starting to get under their skin too. That means you, Devin Booker. That means you, Jay Crowder. We saw that. We saw the pushy stuff. That means you too, CP3. We got something for y'all. More bully ball. Y'all could do all that pushing all you want. Push LeBron like that. Push AD like that. Push bass drum like that. And my personal favorite, push Monstar Traz like that. You don't want to do it. Traz had already ran down on somebody. I think it was this series. Yeah, you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. All right, let's get to the game. First quarter, LeBron started out splashy three still. I don't know what his numbers are, but when he's taking it, they they looking good. They are, like, confident three. It ain't rimming around. Just bottom of the net threes. AD and Drum were a problem on the boards to start, and I knew that was just going to carry into it. Drummond has found his place. I wish he would get more minutes now. But when he's in, he does damage. Starters was looking on. They look still on. You know, AD was in attack mode in that first quarter. And if Drummond can protect uh, the rim like he was doing, I see them get a monster block. We got all the pieces. We got all the pieces of the puzzle. Our starting five, we do damage with. We do damage with. I think game two, we put up like 90-something points with them. We're doing damage with that starting five. Um, layup, Brown was on was on his game, and we're going to see more of that later on. 
Drummond with the post spin. Drummond had a nasty, a nice, nice spin move, too. We will talk about that later. That, that, that goes back to that play. Drummond said, yo, I had some of that in the first quarter. Offense looks decisive. Schroeder to the rim was different. Kuz was making plays. And even AD was getting to the rim. So at the end of the first quarter, I knew we were good regardless of the score. The score was 28-27 them. But I just knew that the way that we were playing... I just knew we would be all right. Brian wasn't active yet. He was still chilling. I didn't mention Brian Harley besides that first three. He's conducting out there, but he's not putting his hand on the game just yet. Just yet. But there's still time. Second quarter. I like Wes getting early minutes. I think he's a pest type, but he might play some of the better defense on the team. He just got his hands be moving. He'd be in there. He'd be active. And he's a three-point threat. So if he gives you one of these, three and D. <laughs> West pump faked and got the got the three shots for us. Finally, we never do it. Vogel will be talking about it. You know, pump fake. Everybody closes out reckless. Pump fake, get the three fouls. We never do it. Um, Bron still orchestrating, but here's the difference. In the second quarter, or well, even still in the first quarter a little bit, he orchest he's orchestrating to the rim, right? It's one thing for him to orchestrate at the top of the key. It's another thing for him to be going to the rim, attacking the rim, and then orchestrating. It's just options. The options are different. We got people coming along the baseline. We got our shooters at the three. We got somebody coming from behind. It's options. It's options. So I like when he's attacking towards the rim and then making the play. Don't make the play at the top of the key on a three-point line. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Put that pressure. Defense was locked in. It was a nice timeout by Vogel at 645. I think the game was like, kind of tied there mind you this was a low quarter it ended up being for both of us they scored 12 points in that quarter knocked them down but we only scored 16 so it was a plus four but it, it, it could have been a lot worse had our offense been any better Kuz finally got one to hit uh, I feel like he really needed that because he had been shooting really really bad um but then the Lakers offense stalled. I, there wasn't much more for a while. LeBron did not look the same. He was he just wasn't engaged, right? And even at the halftime, they speak about this. I think it was Chuck and them. They were saying, like, hey, do you think something's wrong with him? Like, and they was like, yeah, something's definitely wrong. I don't know if LeBron was watching that. But we'll talk about how he changed up in that second half. Okay. Where am I? Okay, yeah. So LeBron did not look the same in that second quarter. KCP did have some hustle points, though. Like, he's not hitting the three consistently, but he's hustling. He'll get a cut, layup, follow, uh, follow a lost ball or something, offensive rebound, that kind of thing. I don't know why we didn't play drum in that second quarter, but that was a mistake. And the points reflected it. Lakers crowd wasn't into it at all. I, I at the time, didn't realize we had scored so little points when I typed that note. So, I mean, if we only scored 16 points, I can understand. It was a 16 and 12 point quarter. I can understand why the crowd was actually just like. <laughs> so, what are we going to do? So, yeah, that was that quarter, but we ended up up 43 to 40 at half. <laughs> Again, they were talking about my guy, Brian, in the second half, like in the, at halftime. And <clears throat> you just knew. Well, I, I didn't know, but I had a feeling. If he had something in him, second half was his time. He started out with the slam to start that third quarter. LeBron cooking and an early 6-0 run that led to the timeout. And I was like, okay. Drummond was back in. He was making himself an option in the paint. Um, and then I thought this was the change of the game. 
Cameron Payne started talking to LeBron. Why they do that? Like AD talked about, why you want to poke the bear? You just over in there like... You, you, you talking to him at the free throw line. He not shooting, so he just in there. Oh, he's going to give you some words. But I'm going to give you some words back. Cameron Payne, you thought you was... You haven't learned. You didn't watch... You watched you watch The Last Dance. So you learn what happened when you poke a grape. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. You know, LeBron looked activated after that. He looked activated and he looked like he was here to make some points. He was going, he was going off. And there was one play I seen AD was trying to get him some. He threw a joint to AD. I thought a AD came with that. I tried to finish him. Did not finish it. We are not a good team at finishing those monster dunks. I think Bron also missed a monster dunk. Um... But it was still all good. We was we was rolling at this point. We was rolling, rolling them. This was a 33 to 23 quarter for us. Lakers got a little sloppy with less than three minutes to go, but we cleaned it up. AD doing work with the same play over and over to the rim. Cut into the paint, get into the air, like not in a restricted area, but very close. And then just kind of follow up with like sky hook, something towards the rim. Very decisive. At the end of three, 76 63, we're up. And this was, it was the game at that point, right? Could they come back? Possibly. Odds of them coming back? Unlikely. They had already activated Braun. And you know, when, when Skip made a great point, he's a front runner in the sense that when LeBron smells blood, he's going to snatch your life away. He's going, he's like a shark in the water, just. Dum, 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 it's one of those kind of vibes. So fourth quarter started out, AD was on the boards crazy. Um, after every timeout, you would see LeBron and Trez dancing. Hey! It was making my heart feel good, for real. To know that Trez is still engaged, know that Bron is still teammate of the year. People just, they just, they just want to be, man, they just want to be rocking with him. You can see it. Kuz was still getting boards. I think he got double-digit boards. West hit one, and the whole team was feeling good. I seen everybody. I seen Brian give me one of these joints. <laughs> that, yo, you just, the team was rocking this game. It was rocking this game. And then LeBron versus Crowder. <laughs> it was a couple of plays now. It was a couple of plays he wanted to get him. First, he tried to hit him with the... <laughs> He tried to hit him with the James Harden dribble, 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 rimmed in and out. But he said, I wasn't done with you, though. I wasn't done with you. Caught that turn again. Spin. Fly. Gave him some of that filet. That jelly. Jelly English on the back. That hey, hey, nah. Stands went wild. Crowd goes wild. Teammates go wild. I went wild. It was just a great moment for the Lake Show. Steady defense and offense for the Lakers to wrap it up. Kuz, more hustle on the boards. And that wrapped up the game. We, we, we spanked them. It was 33 to 32 in that last quarter, but... It didn't matter. We was up. We won by 14. They wasn't catching us. Um, 109.95. So a really, really great team win. I was just very happy for my boys. We shot 44% from the field. Not good, but they only shot 43. 25% from the three. I don't know what's going on with that. Oh. But we'll bounce back. 87 cent from the free throw line, 20 turnovers, that's not good. We crushed them on the boards, 51 to 35. 15 offensive rebounds to their eight. And that's what it was all about, man. Doing what we need to do. Closing out possessions with rebounds. Look at these rebounding numbers. Look at these rebounding numbers. I got the stat sheet out. Now let's talk about the stat sheet. 
LBJ, what did he give us? 21, 6, and 9. 9 and 19 shooting, 1 of 5 from the 3. He also gave us a steal. I mean, he, he's not, he, he's just going when he needs to. First quarter, one to three quarters, he's just conducting. He got nine assists. He's conducting. But then when it's time, he said, I still got it. Oh, I still got it. Everything you're looking for, I still got it. I got the dunk package. I got the filet package. I got the mid-range package. And I got the split cal. Anthony Davis. Is there a better Robin? Is there? I... I 34 and 11, 11 of 22, 12 of 14 from the free throw line, one block, one steal. He's a problem now. This is the AD that I was talking about. The 28 and 12 AD. And anything above that is icing. Anything above that is icing on 50% shooting. He was all two from the three, but who cares? I don't care. Not when we waxing him like that. Schroeder. Schroeder. I like it. I like it, game shooter. When you go into the rim, it, it, it just gives us such good energy. 20 points, three rebounds, four assists, six of 11 from the field, one of four from the three, seven of eight from the free throw line. You can shoot your free throws. Talk to me, baby. And he had two steals. Amazing game. KCP. Five points, four rebounds, two or four from the field, 0 or two from the three, one or one from the free throw line, and he had two steals. Defense is locked up. Maybe because he's got a guard booked the whole game or a lot of the minutes. I understand. So, hey, do your job. It may not be on the numbers, game point, but we got this. And bass drum, six points, 11 rebounds, three or six from the field, one block, one steal. He didn't even take a lot of shots. Six shots, three, made three of them. But he got us 11 rebounds, though, while he was in there. While he was in there, he got us 11 of them things. So for the starters, for points-wise, we got 45, 65, 70, 76 points from the starters. Now to get it done. 22, 32, 35 rebounds from the starters. All right, let's go to the bench. Bench is, of course, much smaller. They get way less minutes and they get way less touches. So I'm not expecting 40, maybe something like 20. 8, 16, 20, 23 points from the bench. I like it. Kuzma, 8 points, 10 rebounds, 3 assists. 2 of 12 from the field, 2 of 8 from the 3. You got to step the shooting up. I, you, you do, Kuz. But the 10 rebounds is where it's at. That's where you made your claim to fame this year. And so I, I get it. As long as the rebounds is on, we'll, we'll work on the rest. Field goals could be up, but we'll work with it. Caruso, four points, two rebounds, one assist, two or five from the field, all one from the three, two blocks, one steal. You're grinding on defense too. You and KCP got a tough, got a tall task. Y'all got a tall task. So, hey, we understand. Wes Matthews, eight points, two or five from the field, two or four from the three, two or two from the free throw line. Wes. No, I'm. Shout out to you, Wes. Gasol gave us three points, three rebounds, two assists, one on one from the field, one on one from the three. Gasol, well, I've been saying this ever since Drummond came. You play with pride. So I know when you get in, you're going to play prideful good minutes. And that three is splashy. And you gave us two steals. And Benny Mack came in. He had one rebound, all one from the field, all one from the three. Shout out to shout out to the Lake Show for giving us a great game. Ball game ball goes to AD. He's just putting up consistent numbers, right? It would have been Brown for the show, but I really can't hold AD for doing his thing, man. He is doing his thing. He he just is. He's aggressive, getting to the free throw line. He's giving me everything we asked for. If he continues this, Brown will take us. The, he will fill in the rest of that gap. I know he will. So let's get it. We got a game tomorrow. 3.30 daytime, 12.30 Pacific time. So I had to do the video the night before. 
but we out here. It's Big Lake Show vibes, man. Let's get it. Time to put our foot down on this series. Let's go.